Alrighty, everybody. Today I am doing uh, something that I haven't done in a long time. So when I was in high school, I used to take day trips and plan little road trips around to different fish stores. Uh, and I thought, you know what? I have something to do in Lexington, Kentucky today. Uh, and it's a surprise. I'm going to ask if I can film, but we will, we'll see if, if I can. Um, but on the way, I'm going to stop at some fish stores. So I'm going to get driving and I'll see you at the first stop. Alrighty guys, this gave me a great, great opportunity to talk about one of my biggest pet peeves, uh, running aquarium stores, going to aquarium stores, whatever. Um, when you close for a day, then my first stop that I was going to go to, we won't mention the business or anything cause, uh, I don't like this in particular thing that they, that they do apparently. Um, Closing a day of the week. I think every day is really important for sales, even slow days. Uh, if you don't have enough help to open a day, then you work by yourself. And that is that is part of being a fish store owner, in my opinion, um, is, is carrying that. The first two years, that's what I did. I worked seven days a week, and it was, um, you know, awesome. But you're going to have to do it every once in a while. Uh, to get things done, you stay later, whatever. Uh, but staying open is so important in my opinion. In any case, we are at our second store that we are going to go to, and they are open today. And so we are going to uh, look at what they've got to offer, uh, and we will go from there. Alrighty guys, so our second store, because the first one was closed that we're going to, is Aquatic Marine, one of my favorite uh, stores in Knoxville. Um, because they have a great quality on their stuff. They have a lot of stock in stock all the time. Um, and they are a newer, I shouldn't say new because Aquatic Marine's been around a while, but the guy, uh, Kenny Parrot, he is fantastic. He had Parrot Aquatics before this uh, and is doing a really great job with the store. But we'll walk through. I'm gonna do this real quick because I gotta get on the road back to Lexington. But when you walk in, this is probably my favorite fish in the whole store. This little epaulet shark, he's beautiful. Kenny, does the epaulet shark have a name? Her name is Mercy. Mercy, oh, she is so pretty. She is so pretty. We have a cat shark in the store, as you guys know, Georgie. But this is, I mean, probably one of the, one of my favorite sharks that you can get in aquariums. They're just so well-tempered and lazy. I love them. We'll do dry goods first because I want to see the coral. The coral is always one of my favorite parts of it. I wish I had my lens, um, but they've got a lot of cool soft corals, LPS, SPS. Um, there's a system right here that one of the employees keeps with a bunch of acros. Very, very pretty. This is probably my favorite piece. Has the daisy cutters. I think that's a Jason Fox. And then uh, the the, what are they called? Utter chaos. And then Satosa's growing around it. That's so stunning. I love that piece. That's beautiful. But lots of tanks. Beautiful, beautiful tideline systems. Gorgeous. The aqua top rimless. We've got lots and lots of product. More product than I could ever imagine, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Tons of stuff. An aquascaping station. And then when you round the corner, beautiful amount of aquascaping supplies. Lots of different rocks, lots of woods all over the place. Plants, beautiful plants from Aquatop. You know we carry the same brands there. Very, very pretty. But let's get through dry goods. Sorry, apologies. We'll walk through here. I love how tall the shelves are too. He made a really great point of the storage on the top, which is really, really important, especially in a fish store where you don't have a whole lot of room. Let's go right through here. Sorry, man. Got bettas right there. We walk around and we see a really nice plant tank. Lots of Dustin's fish tanks plants. Love his stuff. We've got, looks like a little nano invert system. Lots of urchins. Lots of anemones. We love the long tentacles. And then we have the fluval nano wall, which is very pretty. Lots of nano stock. And then lots of tanks. Like when we look down this row, beautiful amount of tanks. I think they run on systems, which is really cool. We've got glowfish, we've got plants, we've got a maintenance station. <laughs> this is so cool. We'll look around, there's angelfish. 
very, very cool. A lot of freshwater fish. We're gonna look at some of the saltwater here in a second. We've got lionfish, scopus tangs, one of the banded puffers, purple tangs. This is a speed tour. Have you guys seen them on TikTok? We're just going right through. Blue tangs, beautiful African cichlid side. You guys know we just did a whole thing with our cichlids. Beautiful. We've got some soft corals in this system. Very, very pretty. Look at all those anemones. That is gorgeous. And then of course this system has a bunch of clownfish, has some cardinals, mono argans. Very, very pretty. Very cool. I think we've looked at everything. We're gonna get back on the road. Alrighty guys, you might notice that the sun is a little bit lower in the sky. I stayed in there way too long. I think one of the awesome things about being a fish store owner is going into other fish stores and looking at the stuff that they're doing, carrying, selling, um, and talking to the owners because there's so little of us left. Um, it's been so fun and I'm so excited to um, talk to him again. But in any case, I'm going to see if I can make it to the next location by the time they close. If not, then we'll, we'll see you later. Alrighty guys, we're at our second fish store of the day. Second fish store uh, because Ethan stayed way too long at the last one. Um, this one is called the Aquatic Gallery. It's right below Lexington. Uh, the window looks beautiful. Let me see if I can turn this around here. Uh, I cannot, so we'll show you in a second. Um, but they decided, I called ahead and said, hey, I'm gonna come by. Um, I would love to see your store. Apparently they're still opening. And so I'm excited to see that. Uh, even there, they don't have a sign up on the building yet. Let me show you. Beautiful window graphics. I'm really excited to see the inside. Uh, he already apologized on the phone a million times and I was like, no dude, I get it. <laughs> but let's take a look. Guys, this store is flipping gorgeous. I am telling you right now, I walked in the store. It is the most amazing saltwater only store that I have ever been to in my entire life. We're gonna make a video about the store, um, but we are, just gonna do a, a speed tour, kind of like what we did with Aquatic Marine um, earlier today. And yeah, let's take a look. So first thing when you walk in the door, uh, he says that he is still opening. I think it looks immaculate right now, <laughs> but there are some things that I'm really excited about. This right here is gonna be a massive, like I think he said 2000 gallon aquarium. Did you say 2000 gallon? Dude, 2000 gallon, like is this L shaped or is it gonna be like a drop off? Right. This has three uh, separate drop That's going to be amazing. So I'm really excited to come back and look at that. Um, but speed tour on this one. So we're going to look around at what we've got. We've got some air plants. That's fantastic. Um, some art over here, which I'm definitely going to have to buy one of those. That's super cool. Um, each one of these is going to be a, a display tank. Looks like there's going to be four. Um, beautiful, beautiful systems. And when I say that this is like a boutique store, it's like a boutique store. You walk in here and it is stunning. Uh, the coral systems, how big are these coral systems? Uh, each one is 400 gallons and they're tied into a 650 gallon stuff in the back. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, that's so cool. Um, but each one of these systems is absolutely immaculate. It looks like uh, they're gonna focus mainly on coral, um, but he did say in the future they're going to have fish in the back back there, uh, which will be amazing. They have their aquascaping uh, box over here with all of the different rocks, and then of course all the dry goods. And I love the way that you set up this wall um, with the display tanks, because that's gonna look stunning. There's actually a store in uh, Atlanta Pure Reef that has uh, a wall like this, but it only has one of those. <laughs> and so you have four and it's gonna separate, I guess, the different types of dry goods that you carry. That's amazing. So I, if you guys are anywhere near Lexington or I guess we're in Richmond, right? Richmond, Kentucky, you need to stop by this store. I'm just gonna do one more pan. Um, and I don't want to spoil too much because we're going to do a little video uh, kind of explaining the store a little bit more uh, And we will see you I guess tomorrow 
So I ended up not being able to film at this location, but this is my whole reason I did the trip. I went and saw the Aquarium Co-op Warehouse and met two of my all-time heroes in the hobby, uh, Corey with Aquarium Co-op and then Randy Reed with the Aquarist Podcast and with Aquarium Co-op now. Uh, both have inspired my hobby greatly, and I was very lucky to be able to go and spend the day with them. I even got this cool coin. Alrighty, everybody, we are back at the store. I unfortunately wanted to uh, film at Aquarium Co-op, but we ended up uh, putting up some lights. It was super fun uh, to be there and hang out with them and meet them. Uh, we were going to go to some fish stores on the way back, but this is a great opportunity for me to bring up my pet peeve again. We uh, were gonna go to two stores that I couldn't make it to the day before, and I found out they were closed on Tuesdays. <laughs> and I, uh, will scream from the rooftops all the time. Do not close a day, in my opinion. Uh, if you need to do maintenance, do it uh, Do it later than your open hours, but at least be open uh, if somebody's heater goes out, if somebody needs a tank, their tank busted. Um, you need to be open and you need to be there for people. And so that is just, I'll, I'll jump off my soapbox to, to finish the video, but uh, that was three different fish stores that were closed multiple days of the week on our trip that we weren't able to go to and didn't get a spotlight in the video. Um, but very, very cool road trip. I know we only went to two locations and then you got to see pictures of the front of the warehouse. Um, but I'm excited to go back. I'm excited to do more road trips like this and we will, I guess, see you next time. I hope your tanks are doing good.